let's just try it again. Try it again. Okay. Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back. I'm so glad to see you here. Today we're gonna be talking about a foundation. So I'm gonna be doing kind of like my first impression slash review on this foundation. I am gonna wear it throughout the day and let you guys know like how it feels, you know, how it goes and like all the details about it. So yeah, if you wanna see what foundation I'm gonna talk about, then just keep going. Alrighty guys. Um, so the foundation that I'm going to be talking about is this one by L'Oreal. This is the Infallible Pro Glow uh, 24 hour foundation. It says radiant finish, normal to dry skin, and it's hydrated. I have to be honest with you guys, um, I'm really excited to try this on because I feel like lately my foundations just haven't been like on point. Like they just been kind of like whatever and I feel like lately my skin's been doing really really weird like it'll be really dry sometimes and then it'll be like kind of like whatever like kind of normal other days so i don't know i guess i'm kind of like combination to oily skin nowadays but i feel like sometimes my skin can be very dry and certain foundations that i have just don't really work for my skin and also the certain foundations that i do have kind of like go into my smile lines a lot and I really don't like that so I am really looking forward to you know really like this and hopefully you know it doesn't get into fine lines or anything like that because it is more of a hydrating foundation so I do hope that you know it's good it's good a lot of mixed reviews about it um, I do know a lot of people like this I do know that a lot of people don't like this as well I just want to see online real quick like what it says I mean, on here it says that it's supposed to be 24 hour long wear. I mean, who's gonna wear a foundation for 24 hours? I don't think you are. Um, I am certainly not. I mean, the longest I can go is like maybe like 8 to 10 hours. But I mean, sometimes having foundation for that long or like makeup on your face for that long, it's like, I just wanna take it off, you know? Uh, okay, so here it is. It says, it's a lightweight and creamy, uh, this long lasting foundation goes on smooth with a glow finish that lasts with medium coverage. It instantly hides imperfections for a radiant complexion. Um, it says, applies cheeks, forehead, and chin blending in circular motion. Finish with infallible, infallible pro spray and set for lasting glow look. Okay. There is quite a few shades and it seems like they do have like medium and like skin tones, but they don't have really dark shades like the darkest one which i can see on here it's like 210 which is like a classic 10 and that's really not like it's not really dark it's like a few it's like two shades darker than what i got so you guys can see this um it's not very dark this is in the shade 207 sand beige i don't know if this is gonna match it seems on the bottle that it's kind of like it does have like that medium olivey kind of undertone so hopefully it matches perfectly Alrighty guys, so the first thing that I'm gonna start off with is just priming the face. I always do this no matter what foundation I'm gonna put on. Um, and I just use the Professional by Benefit. I really like to apply this just on the T-zone to um, get rid of any pores or anything like that. And like I said, I always do this step, so it's only fair that I do it for this foundation as well. Now it does say that you should apply with a like a brush i think because it says apply in circular motions but i'm gonna use my beauty blender because i don't know i just always use beauty blender so that's what i'm gonna go for all right so i'm just gonna shake it up on the bottle it seems really liquidy um so i don't know okay let's, let's see i don't know how much i would need all right so you guys can see right there on the back of my hand it is quite liquidy um, but it's not too, too liquidy. Like it's, it's kind of like in the midpoint of, you know, liquidy and kind of thick. It smells like alcohol. Yeah, it smells like alcohol. So let's apply this. I have a mirror down here with me. So just if you guys are wondering what the heck am I staring at? That's what I'm staring at. So I'm going to take some onto the beauty blender. I'm just applying it right there. And let's just start applying this so on the bottle I did say that it had medium coverage 
so we will see about that now personally I would say that I have like I mean my skin tone is pretty nice I only have to like even out certain areas uh, of my face but I still like to have a little bit of coverage in those areas you know so we'll see how much coverage we can get with this foundation the color seems to be nice it's not it does have that like mm, yellow undertone so it's nice for my skin tone and my skin's feeling kind of dry at the moment so this should be perfect for that Alright, so that's like one layer. You guys saw how much product I applied onto the back of my hand. Now this doesn't have a pump, but I think it's really nice that you can just squeeze it out of the bottle because it's just it's just convenient. You do get 30 millimeters in here, so it's not that much of a product. But I mean it's not too bad. And I didn't tell you guys how much it costs. Like, Alright, so this foundation, I think it was around like $18 or $15, something around there. So, I mean, it is quite like up there in price in terms of, you know, a drugstore type of foundation. But if it does say, like if it does do what it says, that it's a really long wearing foundation and it's like nice and lightweight on the skin, which I gotta tell you guys, it's super lightweight on the skin. I feel like it almost sets really quickly. It doesn't feel sticky or anything like that. And even when I go with my fingers, like it doesn't really transfer onto the, my hand. It just feels really lightweight. And I think you guys can see in camera, like the coverage that it gives, it just gave me a really, really nice coverage. It evened out my skin tone, but it's not looking like cakey or anything like that, really. It just looks, it kind of looks like my skin when it's doing like super nice. And I think it really applied really nicely with the Beauty Blender. I feel like it just kind of really blends it into the skin nice and in a natural way. Maybe I will try it with a foundation brush next time, but I feel like my beauty blender is just it's my, my nigga, you know? I guess that's it for right now. I don't really have much to say other than that it's looking really, really nice. It covered everything that I needed it to cover, like any redness, or anything like that um i didn't really apply it under the eyes so you can still see like darkness under there but that's all right that's what concealer it looks really really nice i really like it it just it almost looks like i'm not wearing anything like if you guys saw me in person right now you guys would be like whoa your skin is nice because it doesn't look like i'm wearing a foundation it just looks like my skin is really really nice you know i think this foundation would be bomb for anybody who's looking for kind of like a light to medium coverage i don't think this is like i mean maybe you can build it up personally i don't really like to wear like full full coverage foundations because i don't feel like i need that full coverage uh, but if you're you're a full coverage type of girl um i think you would enjoy this just because it is very lightweight but it does have that coverage the color selection like i said is all right it's not like the best but it's not the worst it's it's all right and in terms of like the glowy finish i feel like it does have like a nice like kind of like it does have a nice glow but it's not like extremely glowy like this seems like it's not one of those foundations that even though they say that they're glowy it doesn't have like shimmer or glitter throughout it it's just kind of like a natural glow from within type of look so i really like that because it just makes it look even more natural on the skin it doesn't look like foundation it doesn't look cakey nothing like that you know what i'm saying um, so yeah guys, I will check with you guys in a couple hours, just gonna do the rest of my makeup, go about my day, and then I'll let you guys know how it goes. I really hope that it works, like it wears nicely throughout the day, I hope that I don't get too oily or anything like that. But if I see anything, I will be back here, okay? Hey guys, what's up? Here's my first check-in, I guess. 
um, on this foundation. Now, I have to say, I'm really impressed. Uh, it's been like a couple of hours, it's been like three, like three and a half hours, almost four. And I have to say, like, it's looking really, really nice. It is like quite glowy. I mean, I put highlight on as per usual, but overall, like, it's glowy. It doesn't look cakey at all like it just looks I feel like it really sinks into the skin really nicely without it looking like cakey or anything like that and it's super lightweight like it doesn't feel like I'm wearing anything on the face um I did apply uh translucent powder I used the I used the Laura Mercier but overall like it's not looking bad uh, maybe you guys would think that I'm looking a little bit like shiny in this area I do have really bright, uh, like a bright light, but I am a little bit shiny, so I guess just with a little, like, dab of the beauty blender, I would get rid of that. I'm not going to be applying any more powder just because I really want to see, like, how it wears throughout the day. Um, other than that, everything else applied really, really nicely on my face, and I'm really, really enjoying it. It doesn't sink into my laugh lines or smile lines too much like it's looking nice i don't know if you guys can see like this is a close-up on my skin and i just i'm digging it i'm digging it okay um so yeah i'll probably do another check-in i'll see you guys soon <laughs> sorry got too many bills you know Hi guys, what's up? So this is gonna be my last check-in with you guys on this foundation. So I'll let you guys take a look at my face right now. I think it's looking good. Um, I've been wearing this foundation for like, what time is it? What time is it right now? What time is it? It's 9 p.m. So I've been wearing this for like, a good time, you know? This foundation, I do like it. I think it works really, really nicely. Um, I'm looking a little bit like, mm, not like I wouldn't say oily, but I do look a little bit like glowy. This is a glowy foundation, so I mean, you should get that beyond the foundation. Overall, I really like it. I feel like even though it is a more liquidy and it's a glowy foundation, it works really, really nicely. It blends super, super well with the Beauty Blender. Like, you get a really nice coverage. And I feel like you could you could build it up. I didn't build it up because I don't like to, like, apply a ton of foundation on my face. That's just not, like, my cup of tea. But if you are that type of girl, I think it would work well. Um, and it doesn't look heavy. Like I said, it was super lightweight. Um, my skin looks nice, and it looked nice throughout the day. It didn't look heavy. It didn't feel heavy or anything whatsoever. And also, it wasn't like super glowy. Like when you see this and you say it says pro glow, you think, oh, it's gonna be like shimmery or it's gonna have like little glitter in the foundation. But it's nothing like that. It's just kind of like your skin is like naturally glowing. So. Yeah, I really, really enjoy it. I would say definitely it's, like, worth it. Definitely check it out if you guys can get your hands on it. Yeah, I think that's all I have to say. We'll definitely be wearing this. In terms of it wearing, like, for 24 hours, I mean, like I said, I don't think anybody's gonna, like, try to wear a foundation for 24 hours, but it does wear for a pretty long time, and everything still like you can still see everything on my face like you can see that i bronzed you can see my highlight um you can pretty much oh my god this bitch you can pretty much see everything on my face so it is a long wearing foundation um but 24 hour i mean i don't know anyways so i hope you guys enjoyed let me know if you guys have any questions or anything if i didn't cover it in this video if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and give it a like if you liked it and i'll see you guys on my next one do you want to say hi why are you such a bitch little bitch huh like some other foundations that have like it seemed like when they say that they're it's a glowy foundation Let's try this again.